G'day guys, welcome to Yenar Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig and today we're going to do a wear test on a sheet mask from the Vita, I think it's Vita Masks. Um, hmm, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, but anyway, this is the mask that we're going to do today. It is a sheet mask and it's an acai berry or acai berry, I mean, how do you guys say that? Anyway. Doesn't matter. This is the one that we're going to do today. I'm going to try this on for you guys. I'm going to let you know how I feel. And um, yeah, just give you a little sort of like first impression, little mini review on it. So let's get into it. All right, first off, this little bad boy is going to cost you around about $4 Australian at Priceline. Um, let's have a little bit of a read from it. So it says that it's a moisturizing Korean face mask made with extracts of the acai, acai or acai berry to tighten and smooth your skin. It's inspired by Korean innovation, a triple sheet layer of technology designed to enhance the moisture content within the mask and lead to an increased absorption, absorption rate within the skin. Acai berries are high in antioxidants and contain strong concentrations of A, B, C and E vitamins, all of which are being known to complement the skin. Acai berries have been used to help leave skin glowing with a useful appearance. One acai berry contains 10 times the amount of antioxidants as grapes. All right, so basically we're gonna try this on and we're gonna see how it goes. Now, if you are new to my channel, you wouldn't know that I have very, very sensitive skin. I am prone to eczema. If I'm going to break out in a rash, you're going to see it immediately. Generally, I will have a little bit of a pink tinge to my face after I use a sheet mask anyway, but I'll pretty much know almost instantly if I'm having a reaction and you will too. And that's why I say I am your guinea pig. So if you don't want to use your own skin as a tester then just see how I react now I'm not saying that your skin's going to react the same way that I am if you're worried about any masks that you're going to use whether it's a sheet mask a cream or anything like that then do a patch test I should too but I'm not going to so let's get into it all right I can't find my little hair piece today so I'm just going to use my sunnies to hold that back all right so the directions say Wash and cleanse your face, yep, we've already done that. Remove the mask from its packaging, well, of course. And place it tightly on the face, avoiding the eyes and lips. After about 10 to 20 minutes, remove the sheet mask from the face and gently pat your face to let the remaining gel absorb into the skin. All right, $4 is pretty good. Did you see that? It just squirted everywhere. It's pretty good for a sheet mask, in my opinion, especially one that actually really works. I'm hoping this one works. So it's, um, it's very moist and it should just go all over my carpet. So it's a little bit of a milky sort of texture. Uh, let's just get it out. All right. The smell's not obnoxious. Um, it definitely smells like berries, but kind of like berries mixed with like a, a light... Um, moisturizer so all right let's go I didn't bring my mirror over so I'm going to have to use my camera's viewfinder apologies to try and get this on it feels like one of those softer masks too so I am hoping that this stays on the face it has one of those little nose flaps which I generally detest but we'll see we'll see all right here we go guys oh the chin mm, right probably will get all over my hair. That's okay. <laughs> mm. Oh, you're definitely in the hair. You guys would be doing this in front of a mirror, so you'll be right. I'm going to leave the nose flap on this time. Normally I'd flip it back because it annoys me. This feels nice straight away. It is very moist, guys. It's definitely a lot of product on there. And that's probably as good as I'm going to get. Let me see if there's any more in the pack, how much there is. Yeah. Not too bad. I mean, it's not going to pour out. Um, I need a towel. All right. So, basically, we're going to leave this on the face for, it says 10 to 20 minutes. I reckon I might go 15 um, because I'm impatient like that. And the only thing I don't like about these is they just keep pulling off the chin. I like those, um, I can't remember the brand, but there's this sheet mask that it sticks to the face. It doesn't matter how much you talk or move. So, I mean, this does feel like a cloth mask. Don't get me wrong, it is, it is quite comfortable everywhere else, but um, 
it is pulling off the chin and that annoys me and I know it can't be perfect but it's just one of my little pet peeves. This is feeling pretty good at the moment. It's not obnoxious. Like, it definitely does have like a cooling sensation. I'm feeling cool here, which is usually where my problem area is. Um, it's a little bit tingly under the chin, which I've never experienced before, but I'm not really worried about it. Like, it's a good tingle, not like a, ooh, what's happening tingle. So, yeah. I'd love to know if you guys have tried any sheet masks lately that are like the bomb. I'm still trying to find like the perfect sheet mask that actually does what it says it is going to do. And um, yeah, I mean I found I found a couple of okay ones, but you know, I've got probably about 10 that I need to try out still, which I'm excited about. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I really love the after effects of what a sheet mask can do, like the next day, you know what I'm saying? Um, opposed to like a cream one. I've seen better results with sheet masks than I have with a cream or a peel. I hate peels, they can rot in hell. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, peel masks are horrendous for my skin. Um, but yeah, no, I still haven't found like the perfect mask. And what I mean by the perfect mask, I mean the price point, the usability, the comfortability, the after effects, and also the impact that it's going to have, like the amount of rubbish that's going to be left afterwards. Um, and I mean, whether or not, if it's a bonus, whether you can use it more than once. Anyway, I'm going to come back to you when this is finished and um, let you know what I feel. All right, let's take this guy off. Got my mirror this time. Oh, there's lots of fluid left. Mmm. Alright. So I've definitely got some pink patchiness, but you know what? It's not like um, my bad reaction pink patchiness. Now, what they say this? There's a lot of product on my face, and they want me to. What they say? Did they say pat it in or rub it in? There's no way in hell that I'm going to be able to, like I'll be here for an hour if I was just going to pat this all into the skin. Um, let's just give it a little rub and, and just let's rub it down on the neck a little bit. Mm. Yeah, that's a lot of product. I mean, I'm not complaining. That's cool. I don't mind walking around with this product while it soaks into my face. It's quite milky though. Does feel really, really nice, guys. It's not tacky. It's like, um, um I don't know how to explain this. It's not like an oil. Um, mm, it kind of feels like a serum, but like a milky serum. I've got to say that my first impression of this is it's not a bad mask for four dollars. Um, it, it wasn't too overbearing with the scent, it felt nice on, um, if I didn't need to talk so much it probably would have been perfect there. It did fit on the face quite well, except for obviously under the chin, but I have that problem with most masks anyway. Um, I'd really be interested in seeing what it's going to be like tomorrow morning, but for four dollars, that's a, I'm not hating it. Editing Tanya here, hey guys, look, it is the next day and I'm feeling it, and whilst it feels nice. It's nowhere near as good as some of the other masks that I've done, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I mean, if I wanted something just to sort of pamper myself or force myself to relax, I would definitely buy that one again. This feels really nice. It's starting to dry up a little bit now. It's not feeling disgusting, so yeah. I'm not very good at doing my outro, so I'm going to say that if you enjoyed the video, please feel free. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you liked about the video. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't like the video. Also, let me know down below what it was that you didn't like so I can work on making these videos better for you and so I'm not wasting my time if you guys didn't like it. Guys, look, I really do hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to see more, go ahead, click that subscribe button. Don't forget to check the bell if you want to be notified of every other video that I do. And, um, yeah, I'll catch you in my next video. Bye, guys. Alright, first off, this little bad boy is going to cost you around about $4 Australian. Basically, directions of use. Oh, God. I am so cringy. Like I said, if you do want to know what I think of about... Fuck. I can't seem to get my shit together.